Australia is a land of diverse landscapes, vibrant cities, and rich cultural heritage. From the sun-kissed beaches of the Gold Coast to the rugged wilderness of the outback, there's something for everyone in this vast and beautiful country. If you're planning a trip to Australia, you're in for a treat. Here in this video, we'll take you on a journey through the top 25 places to visit in Australia. Whether you're an adventure seeker, a history buff, or a foodie, you're sure to find something that piques your interest. So pack your bags, grab your camera, and let's explore the land down under. The video is going to be exciting and valuable. So subscribe to our channel now and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Let's start. Number 25. Hainlin Bay Stingrays. Hainlin Bay is a serene open sandy bay located in the Margaret River region of Western Australia. It is a popular destination for swimming, snorkeling, fishing, and wildlife watching. The beach offers a vast expanse of bright white sand, turquoise waters, spectacular coastal cliff walks, and a nearby shipwreck to explore. Hainlin Bay is also home to an abundance of sociable stingrays who come close to the shore to visit their excited audience. Visitors can even snorkel and swim among the Hainlin Bay rays. The stingrays are so friendly that they frequent these waters to feed off local fishermen. So, if you're looking for a unique wildlife experience, Hainlin Bay is the place to be. Number 24. Darwin. Darwin, the capital city of Australia's Northern Territory, is a fascinating blend of modernity and wilderness. Located on the Timer Sea, this cosmopolitan city offers a chance to immerse oneself in indigenous culture and heritage. Nature enthusiasts will be drawn to the city's proximity to world-renowned national parks like Kakadu and Litchfield, which are brimming with diverse wildlife, stunning waterfalls, and dramatic landscapes. For those in search of adventure, there's an array of activities, including cruising along the Mary River wetlands to spot saltwater crocodiles. History buffs will be interested in diving into the city's turbulent past at the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory. The museum houses a vast collection of art, natural history, and cultural artifacts that showcase the region's rich history and heritage. Number 23. Kakadu National Park Kakadu National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Located in the top end region of the Northern Territory, roughly 170 kilometers southeast of Darwin, the park covers an impressive area of around 20,000 square kilometers, making it the largest national park in Australia and about half the size of Switzerland. The park is known for its diverse landscapes that range from wetlands and floodplains to rugged escarpments and arid regions, creating a haven for a wide variety of wildlife. It's home to over 280 bird species, numerous reptiles, and a large variety of fish. Kakadu is also rich in Aboriginal culture, with rock art sites dating back thousands of years. Uber and Norlangi are among the most visited rock art sites, where visitors can learn about the ancient indigenous culture and the spiritual connection to the land. There are numerous guided tours available to explore the park and many walking trails that range from easy strolls to challenging hikes. One can also take a scenic flight over the park or a river cruise to witness its grandeur from different perspectives. Number 22. Uluru Kata Juvit National Parks Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is a large sandstone formation located in the Northern Territory of Australia. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a sacred site to the Anangu tribes of Central Australia, the indigenous peoples of the Western Desert. Uluru is an imposing site, standing 348 meters high in contrast to the flat desert landscape. Spanning 3.5 km long and nearly 2 km wide, it is a popular stop on overland tours. The rock is estimated to be around 600 million years old and is home to many ancient petroglyphs and rock paintings. Uluru is also a significant site for the Ananga people, who have lived in the area for more than 30,000 years. The site holds a plethora of ancient tradition, knowledge, wisdom, stories, songs, ceremonies, and history, which have been passed on from generation to generation. Number 21. Katachuda. Katachuda, also known as the Olgas, is a group of large, domed rock formations located in the Northern Territory of Australia. These massive sandstone domes are particularly striking rising majestically from the flat desert landscape and changing hues with the passing of the day. The park offers numerous walking trails, ranging from leisurely walks to challenging hikes, that give visitors the opportunity to explore these wonders up close 
and experience the area's rich biodiversity. The cultural tours led by the Anangu guides provide deep insights into the ancient traditions, stories, and customs associated with these sacred sites, making the visit to the park a truly enriching experience. Kata Juda is a must-visit destination for nature lovers, hikers, and anyone who wants to experience the unique beauty of the Australian outback. Number 20. Bondi Beach No visit to Australia would be complete without a stop at Bondi Beach. Located just 7 kilometers from Sydney's Central Business District, it is one of Australia's most iconic and celebrated beaches. The beach itself, with its golden sands and turquoise waters, is an irresistible attraction. Known for its reliable surf, Bondi Beach draws surfers from around the globe, while the wide sandy stretch also provides ample space for sunbathing, beach volleyball, or simply enjoying the ocean view. The Bondi Icebirds Pool, a stunning ocean pool at the southern end of the beach, offers a unique swimming experience, with the waves of the Pacific Ocean crashing over its sides. Bondi Beach isn't just about sand and surf, it's also a hub for dining and shopping. Campbell Parade, the main street running parallel to the beach, is lined with trendy cafes, award-winning restaurants, and boutique stores. The beach is also the starting point for the scenic Bondi to Coogee Coastal Walk, which takes in some of Sydney's most stunning ocean views. Number 19. Byron Bay Byron Bay is a coastal town located on the far north coast of New South Wales, Australia. The town is situated on Cape Byron, which shelters Byron Bay and is the easternmost point of the Australian mainland. Byron Bay is renowned for its captivating landscapes, pristine golden sand beaches, and sparkling Pacific Ocean. The town is easily accessible from major city centers, located just about 800 kilometers north of Sydney and 170 kilometers south of Brisbane. The town offers a plethora of outdoor activities, including surfing world-class breaks, kayaking with dolphins, and trekking to the iconic Cape Byron Lighthouse for a panoramic view of the bay. Byron Bay is a must-visit destination for nature lovers, beach enthusiasts, and anyone who wants to experience the unique beauty of the Australian coast. Number 18. South, West, North, and East Australia The Australian Outback is a vast and remote area that covers nearly every state of the country. It is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Australia. Gala Range's Wilderness Safaris offers an incredible opportunity to explore the outback's diverse landscapes, wildlife, and natural beauty. From salt lakes to red sands and rock formations, you'll feel like a pioneer as you traverse this rugged terrain. While the outback is dry and arid, it is not uninhabited. Homesteaders raise sheep among the kangaroos and emus, and there are many small towns and communities scattered throughout the region. A trip to the outback is a unique and unforgettable experience that will leave you with memories to last a lifetime. Number 17. Sydney Opera House The Sydney Opera House is one of the most iconic landmarks in the world. Located on the foreshore of Sydney Harbour, it dominates the city skyline and is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Australia. The Opera House opened in 1973 and had since become Australia's top tourist attraction. The building's unique design, which features a series of gleaming white sail-shaped shells as its roof structure, is a masterpiece of 20th century architecture. While we never went inside the Opera House when visiting Sydney, walking around it and taking in the views from the waterfront was an unforgettable experience. The Opera House is not just a cultural icon, but also a symbol of Australia's creativity, innovation, and spirit. It is a testament to the power of human imagination, and a reminder that anything is possible if we dare to dream big. Number 16. Blue Mountains The Blue Mountains, located just 50 kilometers, 32 miles from Sydney, are a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Australia. The region is renowned for its soaring sandstone ridges, blanketed in native bushland, charming mountain towns, ancient aboriginal rock art, and the iconic tourist attraction of scenic world. The Three Sisters, a trio of weathered sandstone peaks, are the most iconic view of the Blue Mountains. Echo Point Lookout offers an impressive view of the Three Sisters overlooking the Jamison Valley. The Lookout is the gateway to many great walks and nature experiences in the area. Take the short Three Sisters walk or descend almost 1,000 stairs to the valley floor for a different perspective. If you have time, Prince Henry Cliff Walk connects Echo Point to Lura Cascades and takes you past many scenic lookouts along the cliff edge. 
A trip to the Blue Mountains is a unique and unforgettable experience that will leave you with memories to last a lifetime. Number 15. Sydney Harbour Bridge The Sydney Harbour Bridge is one of the most iconic landmarks in the world. Located on the foreshore of Sydney Harbour, it dominates the city skyline and is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Australia. The bridge is the largest steel arch bridge in the world and connects the CBD to the North Shore. The bridge is unique design which features a series of gleaming white sail-shaped shells as its roof structure, is a masterpiece of 20th century architecture. If you're looking for a thrilling experience, you should try the Sydney Harbour Bridge climb. The climb takes you to the summit of the outer rim of the bridge, offering a spectacular panoramic view of Sydney. The ascent will take you three and a half an hour, four ladders, 1332 steps, and reckless spirit to reach the summit. The climb is a unique and unforgettable experience that will leave you with memories to last a lifetime. Number 14. Bora Homestead The Bora Homestead is a small Australian farmhouse, located in the town of Bora, South Australia. The homestead was abandoned by homesteaders years ago, and still stands alone and empty by the side of the road. It became an international icon after appearing on the cover of Midnight Oil's 1987 album Diesel and Dust. The photograph was taken by photographer Ken Duncan, who stumbled upon the lonely little house while exploring the outback near Burra. Taken aback by the stark image of the solitary house sitting among the torn-up dirt fields all around, he snapped the photograph that would go on to make the house an international star. Today, the simple house still stands despite the roof coming apart and one of the walls falling down. It has been repaired thanks to the efforts of Duncan himself as well as Midnight Oil, both campaigning to raise money for repairs. The Bora Homestead is located on private land and cannot be visited directly, but it can still be seen from the road. Number 13. Lake Gairdner Lake Gairdner National Park is a must-visit destination in South Australia. Situated north of the Gala Ranges, the park protects a large soling lake system surrounded by red sand hills. The park includes Australia's third largest salt lake, Lake Gairdner, which contains over 200 islands. In some parts of the lake, the salt layer can be up to one meter thick. The glimmering white surface of the lake, surrounded by the red foothills of the Gala Ranges, is a sight to behold. The park is a perfect spot for nature lovers and photographers. The lake is so vast that it feels like you have stepped onto another planet. The park offers a unique experience to visitors, with its otherworldly landscape, and the opportunity to witness the stunning contrast between the White Salt Lake and the Red Sand Hills. The park is free to enter and is located approximately 731.17 km from Adelaide. It is advisable to visit the park during the cooler months of the year, as temperatures can soar during the summer months. Number 12. Kangaroo Island Kangaroo Island is located off the coast of South Australia and is an incredible place in Australia to tour for a few days. It is a spectacular wildlife haven for kangaroos, koalas, sea lions and seals, and pelicans. There is even a Birds of Prey Rehabilitation Center where you can watch a show and learn about birds that are indigenous to the continent. The landscape is beautiful here and at sunset, you must see the remarkable. Granite boulders have been sculpted into unique formations over 500 million years. Kangaroo Island is also home to what is considered by many as the best beach in Australia. Number 11. Wilpena Pound Wilpena Pound is a giant 80-square-kilometer amphitheater of rock that is simply astounding. Located in the Flinders Ranges of South Australia, it's a 450 kilometers drive from Adelaide. A good place to stay is inside the national park that is set within the backdrop of the mountains. Flinders Ranges is 100 million years old and a tour of the ancient landscape is truly fascinating. It is also one of the best places in Australia to spy the endangered yellow-footed rock wallaby. Number 10. Barossa Valley Barossa Valley is home to Australia's most famous vineyards. Here you can visit wineries such as Wolf Blass, Lemon and Penfolds, just to name a few. A tour through the valley will take you through gorgeous countryside, and it is best to hire a driver so you can truly experience all the wines of Barossa. Located an hour outside Adelaide, it is a beautiful region to spend a few days. South Australia boasts many Australia's best wine regions outside of the Barossa Valley, including Mullaren Vale, Adelaide Hills and Clare Valley. Number 9. 12 Apostles the Great Ocean Road is a 243-kilometer-long coastal drive in Victoria, Australia, 
It is one of the most scenic drives in the world and a must-visit destination for nature lovers and photographers. The road takes you through the stunning coastline of Victoria's southwest, offering breathtaking views of craggy cliffs, empty beaches, and soaring bluffs flanked by brilliant green countryside. The Great Ocean Walk is a 100-kilometer long trail that runs parallel to the Great Ocean Road and offers a unique experience to visitors. The walk takes you through the rugged coast that is impossible to see from a car. It is advisable to take a helicopter ride over the Twelve Apostles to witness the stunning contrast between the white limestone stacks and the turquoise waters of the Southern Ocean. Number 8. Melbourne Melbourne is a vibrant city in Victoria, Australia. It has been named the most livable city in the world and is a popular destination for tourists. The city is home to a variety of attractions that cater to different interests. For foodies, the Queen Victoria Market is a must-visit destination. The market offers a wide range of fresh produce, gourmet food, and souvenirs. The arcades and secret lanes are perfect for those who love to explore hidden gems. The Eureka Sky Deck offers breathtaking views of the city from the 88th floor of the Eureka Tower. Graffiti Lane is a colorful alleyway that showcases the city's street art culture. Federation Square is a cultural hub that hosts a variety of events throughout the year. Melbourne has something for everyone and is a great place to visit. Number 7. Cairns Known as the gateway to Australia's Great Barrier Reef, Cairns is located about 1,700 kilometers north of Brisbane. Cairns enjoys a tropical climate and is nestled between the Coral Sea and the rainforests of the wet tropics, offering a unique blend of marine and terrestrial attractions. As a destination, Cairns offers a multitude of reasons for tourists to visit, as well as its proximity to the Great Barrier Reef, a must-visit for snorkelers, divers, and marine life enthusiasts. Cairns also provides easy access to the Daintree Rainforest. You can take a scenic railway journey to the village of Karanda, experience indigenous culture at the Chapikai Aboriginal Cultural Park, or simply enjoy Cairns' excellent restaurants, bustling markets, and lively nightlife. The city's esplanade, with its saltwater swimming lagoon and waterfront boardwalk, is another major drawcard. Number 6. Gold Coast The Gold Coast of Australia is a must-visit destination for beach lovers and surf enthusiasts. The coast offers an endless stretch of beaches with outstanding surf breaks. Surfer's Paradise is a world-famous beach that is perfect for surfing and sunbathing. The beach is lined with high-rise resorts and condos and there are many eateries and dining options available for beach goers. Corumbin Beach and Burley Head are also popular spots for surfing and watching pro surfers catch a wave. For a great view of the coast, head to the Skypoint Observation Deck, which offers breathtaking views of the coastline from above. The Gold Coast is a perfect destination for those who love the beach and the outdoors. Number 5. Whitsundays the Whitsundays are a group of 75 islands off the coast of Queensland. When visiting the Great Barrier Reef, you must spend some time here. These islands are located right in the heart of it. Beautiful white sandy beaches swirl effortlessly with the turquoise water. There are luxury resorts, sailing and snorkeling. A must-stop is the largest and most famous of all the islands, Whitehaven Beach, with pristine white sands made of silica beads stretching for 7 kilometers. Because this sand is made up of silica, it doesn't get too hot, making it the perfect beach for a walk. Number 4. Port Douglas Port Douglas is a laid-back resort town in Queensland's tropical north. It is the perfect destination for those who want to relax and explore the beauty of Australia. The town is the jumping-off point for visiting the Great Barrier Reef and the Daintree Rainforest, two of Australia's most iconic natural wonders. Port Douglas is located along Australia's most scenic coast, making it an ideal spot for a road trip. The town offers a variety of accommodation options, from luxury resorts to budget-friendly hostels. A scenic flight from Port Douglas over the Great Barrier Reef is a must-do activity for visitors. Number 3. Daintree Rainforest Located in Queensland, the Daintree Rainforest is one of Australia's natural wonders. At 180 million years old, it covers 1,200 square km, and visitors can take a Dreamtime walk with an indigenous guide from the Kuku Yelenji tribe. Stay in the rainforest at Silty Oak Lodge and relax in your treehouse listening to the sounds of the ancient forest. You can also do some paddleboarding on the Mossman River. Don't worry, the local saltwater crocodiles don't come that far inland. 
This rainforest is filled with beauty with waterfalls, plenty of hiking trails, and outdoor activities. Daintree Rainforest is as twice as old as the Amazon rainforest. Number 2. Fraser Island Fraser Island is a must-visit destination in Australia. Thanks to its 75-mile-long beach, which is one of the longest beaches in the world, the island is home to sand dunes, dingoes, tidal pools, and shipwrecks, making it an ideal spot for adventure seekers. Renting a four-wheel drive truck in the town of Noosa is the perfect way to start your adventure to one of the wildest drives you'll ever have. The island's white sand beaches are breathtaking, and driving along its coastline is an unforgettable experience. It's worth noting that drivers share the beach with airplanes, as there is an airport right on the sandy shores. There are several hotels and resorts on the island where you can stay to explore more of what Fraser Island has to offer. Number 1. Great Barrier Reef It may be Australia's most famous attraction, but with good reason. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the seven wonders of the natural world. Stretching 3,000 km across the coast of Queensland, the Great Barrier Reef is a diver's dream. Whether you are an avid scuba diver, casual snorkeler, or first-time underwater newbie, there is something for everyone at this popular tourist destination. You don't need to go scuba diving to enjoy the Great Barrier Reef. A scenic flight is a spectacular way to see the wonder of the world. You can go snorkeling or swimming on one of the platforms in the ocean, and you can even take a discovery dive. You can book a live-aboard dive boat vacation to go out to the most remote dive sites of the reef, take a helicopter tour over the impressive waters, or you can try your hand at diving with a helmet. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoy it and got to explore top 25 places to visit in Australia. If you've had a chance to go to trip to Australia, which place will you prefer to visit first? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.